guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my makeup room. So today I have another exciting TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul for you. I've got some really amazing things here. Um, things that I've been looking for that I've not been able to find. So I have a mixture here of makeup items and non-makeup items. So let's start out first with the makeup items and then we'll move into um, the non-makeup items. So firstly, I was at TJ Maxx literally today and I found this Revolution Pro Blush and Glow Blush and Highlight Palette. So this was $3.99. Um, I have not really seen a lot of Makeup Revolution or at Revolution Pro, I should say, at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It's been a lot of um, iHeart Revolution and Makeup Revolution, but not Revolution Pro. So this was an exciting find here. So that's what that looks like. I'll swatch them for you. It says that there's um, a highlight in here blush and highlight palette but definitely for my skin tone sorry about that light right there guys this is definitely not a highlight but for someone of darker skin tone that would be absolutely gorgeous I would probably use all of these shades kind of as like a blush blush topper or throw them in and use them as an eyeshadow those are super pretty nice and creamy so I'm glad I got this for $3.99. Then from Becca, this was another one of their shimmering skin perfectors. This is $12.99. Now I got this one here because it don't have it. This is in smoky quartz. So it's in silver packaging like this. And that's what that looks like. So I definitely no you know this is going to be too dark but pretty much i bought this just so i could like complete my collection and i know that i didn't have this one let me swatch it for you oh it's so pretty i could definitely use that as like a blush topper right there it's definitely gonna to be too um dark for a highlighter but would look gorgeous on a darker skin toned so I'm excited to have this. Honestly, I had no idea they had a smoky quartz um, powder. So this is awesome. Then from Maybelline, that's what this looks like. This is their Tattoo Studio up to 24 hour brow. And I got the shade Auburn. And now the reason I got this shade Auburn is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got my hair dyed. It's more of like a coppery red kind of shade. So I wanted to change um, my eyebrow pencil color and all I have are like soft brown colors. So when I saw this um, there at TJ, or this was at Marshall's for $3.99, I knew I needed to have it because this I think if you were to buy it at the store, it can be like $12, $12 or so. So that's what this looks like. It's a cute tiny little jar. I will show you the cup. Every video. Goodness, I'm sorry. That's what that looks like. It looks like it's cracked a little bit, but we'll see if it's still workable. You know, if not, it was only $4. And it comes with this cute little brush. That's exciting. Then I saw this. This is from Urban Decay. It is their Soundtrack 2000s eyeshadow palette. And I think that this is relatively new. Like this was just released. This was $10.99. And I'm like, oh, Caitlin, you don't need that. And honestly, I wasn't going to get it. But I'm like, just look at it. Just look at it. You don't see what the color story is. And when I saw the color story... I had to have it like is that not amazing like I love the gold um, kind of like orangey colors in here that's honestly what sold me and that shade right there that shade right there Y2K like reminds me of um, like Max blue brown pigment I don't know if you can see kind of that shift in there but that's what that looks like So because of the shades in here, I'm like, okay, you better get it. There's 
that. So I'm excited about this. I think that the color story in these are really, really nice. So I'm glad, you know, for $11 that I picked this up. Um, for anything more, I don't think that I would have bought this. So there's that. And then from iHeart Revolution, this is their Peanut Butter Cup Shadow Palette, 18 shades of intense pressed pigments. And if you look here in the back, those there are shades that have stars on them, so that does mean that they are pressed pigments. Um, I love the packaging. You have like peanut butter cups all over it. That's what this looks like. Let me show this to you. Great big mirror. This is their kind of newer um, formulation because the writing is on the actual eyeshadow palette versus on the plastic stri stri um, little thing like this. So there's what this color story looks like. Um, so this here is a black and that right there is a dark, dark brown. So they're not both the same shades, but let me give you a couple swatches here so you guys can kind of see. Feels nice and creamy. Get a matte in here. I'll get, so there's those. And then this here is that dark chocolate brown. You know, if you look at it, it's honestly kind of purple. That's pretty. Nice and pigmented. I didn't have this one, so I'm glad I have it, you know, so I have another one. That light, I'm so sorry. My blinds are shut and everything. I don't know where it's coming from. Um, I'm glad that I have this, you know, so I am closer and closer to completing my collection. Okay, then I found this NARS blush here. This was $12.99, and for some reason, I don't think I told you this price, it was $6.99. This one here was $12.99 and it's in illicit. So I went ahead and looked at it. I didn't think that I had it. And I know I definitely don't have a shade like this. It's like a brownie tone one. Let me swatch it for you. So this is um, pretty matte. It's kind of got a sheen to it definitely no sparkle in it that's a pretty shade and there's that right there and then I was searching through their like palette section and I came across a couple palettes so this one here is from Cara Beauty it had the plastic on it I took the plastic off it was $9.99 and this is their pressed powder finishing powder so it's called Divine Complexion. That is what that looks like on the back. I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh. I have not had any of her um, face palettes, so I definitely wanted this. You have a nice big mirror. And then that's what this looks like. So this is definitely not going to be for everyone. You know, um, this is something that maybe a makeup artist would have and use because you have all these different shades these are technically pressed powders but you know you can always use these as um, bronzers contours different things like that eyeshadows and that's definitely what I'm gonna do more than likely I wouldn't I probably wouldn't use these as um, pressed powders I'd use these as bronzers so you got all different tones of bronzers that you can use and you know if I were to use anything as a powder it would definitely be that one But you got nice big pans I'm excited about that. I love finding Cara Beauty at TJ Maxx. And then another one is called Lightning Hour. That is what this looks like. This was $8.99. Again, it had the plastic on it and I took it off. So that's what that looks like. 
this one is absolutely gorgeous so you got three highlight sheets here and then three blushes um these are definitely i think these highlighters might be too dark for me let me swatch them i'll kind of let you know um we'll see i could make them work yeah they're probably going to be too dark as you can see there but i will definitely use those as like blush toppers so that's perfect and then i can definitely use each one of those um blushes i love a dark one i'm excited about this one the blushes are matte that is a gorgeous like fall blush there's that sorry guys so I'm excited about this. I'm definitely, every time I go in, I'm looking for Cara Beauty and um, what they're releasing next. They did have a couple of their glitter palettes there that were just palettes completely made of glitter. And I did not buy those. Um, I knew they were $7.99. I'm like, that's not very often that I use glitter anyways. So I for sure didn't want to have a whole palette full of glitter. Um, no, I was trying to be practical and not spend. I had them in my car. I was totally going to buy them. I'm like, Caitlin, don't do it. So next, guys, I think that's it for the makeup. And let's go ahead and get into the non-makeup items. So let's get into those non-makeup items. And the first thing here is by Onyx Bathhouse. And it is these foaming body scrubs. This one here is in Candied Pumpkin. These were $5.99 so when you undo them they have this nice foil on here so you know that they have not been used um, these are kind of their Halloween themes ones and the reason I picked these up was from Leah Janine Janine um, she does a lot of TJ Maxx Marshall's Ulta shop with me's and she was talking about these I think these have been like a hit on TikTok as well I always love to do a scrub, so I figured let's try these. So I got this one here in Candid Pumpkin. I got this one here in Witch Please, which is a Wicked Apple, that looks like. And then I got this one here in Mermaid Off Duty. So this is Mermaid Goals with Jehovah Oil pretty i love how they have two different colors in here again these are all 5.99 and then lastly this one is keep it fabulous fabulous huh. so this was in scary berry so you got pink and purple i'm excited to use these once i finish the scrub that i'm using right now in my shower i'm definitely going to be using these excited and then i got the am nh skincare raspberry vanilla boobies boobs butter so that's what this looks like it's like that one that i think was all over tiktok this is 7.99 and this has all different kinds of oils in it it has raspberry and um, extract retinol shea butter um, and that's what this looks like so I definitely thought that this was going to be more whipped than what it is like if you see you know it's not very whipped like I like I thought it was which is fine that's totally fine that's what it looks like and when you rub it in it leaves this like nice oil residue can you that sounds bad to say but I think this is going to be super hydrating and work really well um, on that area so I think that's probably why it's not so um, fluffy I think it was made with all sorts of different um, oils and stuff in there and this was in raspberry vanilla and then when I was at TJ Maxx I found another whole pack of my sh Shiseido facial cottons this is $7.99 and I think these are normally 12 some dollars at Sephora so whenever I see these I have a whole collection all sorts of backups of these but you know they're not always at TJ Maxx or Marshall's so when I see them I always grab them because I rather pay eight dollars than twelve dollars for them and these are the only things that I use on my face <clears throat> And then from Bino, B-I-N-O, 
This was $5.99. This is cute little lipstick holder. I'm going to put this on my desk, on my vanity, and kind of store my um, favorite lipsticks. I thought this was really cool. It's nice like acrylic. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to have this and be able to display my lipsticks a little bit better instead of just in this little drawer so I have easier access to them. So there's that. And then from TJ Maxx, I found these slippers. They are in size nine. They are from the brand seven. I want to say that's what it is. <clears throat> these were $14.99 and it is these little slippers. Now, if you look on the back, they do have a hard bottom, so you can definitely wear these out. You know, you can go get the mail and stuff like that. I love things like this. Just kind of run out and get um, your mail and stuff like this. They're super comfy, nice and fluffy. So I'm glad I got these. I will definitely, definitely be wearing these for sure. And then this one here, this one's going to be kind of hard to show you, but it is this big like little jacket here. So it is from the brand C&C California. It says faux fur. This was $24.99 and it's this nice big jacket. So it's got a lining in here like this. It has a big um, kind of like, can't or it's got a big helmet on it. It's got a nice hood on it. And that's what this looks like. It's nice and long, which I like this. So this definitely covers my booty. So I like that. This is in an extra large. I like to have my um, jackets and stuff like that much bigger. So I saw this. I love like little furry things like this. So um, sorry, guys. I had to have that. So this one here I found at Marshalls and this is a Juicy Couture backpack. So it does have this little pouch in here that you can remove. It also says Juicy Couture on it. So according to the sticker, this is a pink bloom black pull out pouch backpack for $99 I'll show you that. And I got it at Marshalls for $29.99. So you have awesome, nice, long straps that you can make longer or shorter if you need them. You have a big zipper here. So I figured for $30 when this thing retails for $100 that I needed to have it. So that's what the lining in there looks as well. This is absolutely gorgeous. This feels amazing quality. I love the flowers on here. I am so glad that I found this and was able to get this for such a good price. And then my last item here, which is absolutely amazing, is also from Juicy Couture. And it is this nice, big, huge bag. So this is almost something that I could use as like an overnight bag because I don't normally carry that much stuff in my purse. But let me show you the lining in here. It looks the same as the other one. You have a couple pockets here on the side. Um, you have a strap here you can carry it. And then as well, you have a strap here that you can use to carry this as well. I love the black on it and on the black here I don't know if you can see it says um, Juicy Couture on it along with um, another little pocket here and this says Juicy Couture so according to the little um, thing on here this is a black embossed work play weekender bag it retails for a hundred and nine dollars let me show you that and I picked this up for $34.99. Saw this, I knew I needed it, I bought it. I am definitely going to um, be using that soon. I really wanna use that as um, like my purse, but 
I just feel I don't have enough stuff to fit in there but you know you know how we are we can definitely find something to fit in there and oh I have one more thing that I forgot to show you and it is this Mally Beauty Instantly Impactable Dramatic Glass Mascara. This is $3.99. If you watch my last TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul, I did buy this. And I used it, and it's absolutely incredible. Like, one of my favorite mascaras. Every single time that I see this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I'm going to pick this up. I'm sure it's probably not made anymore. Or you know how that is. But um, when I see it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I'm definitely going to pick it up because I absolutely love this mascara. It gets so much volume. It is gorgeous. It lasts all day. doesn't flake. Love it. So guys, I think that is it today for my TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.